Hi, my name is Danny Korsgaard. I'm from Real Fiction and I'm here to show you the world's first 3D micro LED display. So you partner with Play Nitride? Yes, we partner with Play Nitride. They uh, are the world leading manufacturer of um, micro LED displays. So this particular prototype is uh, it's a collaboration with them where we use a micro LED display in uh, the back and then in front we have uh, our light modulator working to control the direction of the light. <clears throat> so it's going in the direction of each eye at many different places? How does it work? Yeah, so it uses uh, no no uh, ventricular layer, that's a typical way of doing it. This, this works on uh, an active barrier principle. You can think of it kind of like uh, having a fence. So if you have a fence, you can see the world or you can see the background through uh, through each slit in the fence. And then you have the fence actually blocking. Um, and if you take the next time sequence, you take basically to move the fence just one step, then you can see another part of the world behind it and then you block out the next. If you do this really fast, you have a way of blocking some light and, uh, and showing uh, what's going on behind it. So the, the way we do here is that we use this, bear, this modifier in front to block out the left image from your, from your right eye and block out the, the right image from your left eye. So you, you're able to see two different images is it field sequential or what is happening? Yeah, what is the fast movement that's happening? How do you define it? Uh, well, it's uh, basically it's we have a set of slits here, so vertical um, pixels, if you can say that, and we're able to to open one of them and let in or let out light, uh, and then close others so that they block light. Um, so in this way, we can let light out uh, to the correct eye um, and then here send out to the other eye and then move the, the slit one step, then do the exact same thing, move one step, etc. do the exact same thing and so on. We do that really fast. So then you're, in your head, you will uh, merge the images or merge the, you know, the small uh, lines that you see to two different images. Do you have to be a specific point in front? Is there any eye tracking happening or? Yes, we have an eye tracker here. We remove the image. So if you think of, again, the fence terminal uh, and, uh, and an analogy, um, we, we kind of move the background with the, with the eye tracker. All right. <clears throat> moving the background. Uh, so this is really special display. And what could be done to make it even better in the future and to make it uh, look better on the camera and stuff? With a, Is there like something you can do with the optimizations yes. somehow? So uh, <clears throat> actually, the modulator here is made for mini LED, so just a tad uh, bigger uh, LEDs. Uh, we work on bringing down the slit size so we can remove some of these artifacts that you see. Um, and also we can make this work even faster, so we refresh faster. That will allow multi-viewer uh, experience, so we track multiple persons. And, and essentially, because the micro-LED is uh, very fast, we will be able to show a unique perspective for each viewer. So you are um, controlling the image and at the same time tracking the eye and doing something in front of the image. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all at the same time. Yes. All right, uh, very quick. Like, is it thousands of times per second? Millions? No, very quick. Uh, this, actually, this, uh, in this one viewer experience, we won with a uh, 240 hertz micro LED, and then we run with a 60 hertz modulator in front. So it's not uh, super fast. This okay. Particular. Is, would it help to have a faster modulator in front or? No. Uh, yes, it would. Then uh, the modulator, but also in tandem with the micro LED, then we will be able to 
open a slit and then shine through uh, multiple eyes. So light for multiple eyes. So speeding up everything will allow multi-viewer experiences. Nice. So you could potentially, if you could modulate 240 and do 240 display and a few other things, you'll have the most amazing glasses free 3D yes. displays in the future. Yes, absolutely. And uh, how is the team is in Denmark, uh, t working together in Taiwan and to make it happen and everything? Yeah, we have a section in Copenhagen, that's the, like the headquarter, and then we have the Taiwanese uh, section as well.